Hello viewers, today I am going to talk about a very important aspect in research. People used to confuse between two terminologies, theoretical framework and conceptual framework. So I am going to give you a brief overview of both terminologies. Theories are developed by researchers to explain phenomena, draw connections and make predictions. They are based on existing knowledge, observations and ideas. So what is theoretical framework? In your thesis or dissertation, sometimes we focus on theories, we define, we discuss and evaluate theories relevant to our research problem or research topic. We explain the key concepts, we explain some of the models used in our research and assumptions coming out from those models or theories. Those guide our project and show that our work is grounded in established ideas. So here is definition of theoretical framework. A theoretical framework is the application of a theory or a set of concepts drawn from one and the same theory to offer an explanation of an event or shed some light on a particular phenomenon or research problem. What are the main goals? of theoretical framework or why we develop theoretical framework because theoretical framework defines key concepts used in our research. It also used to evaluate, select and or combine some of the relevant theories or concepts. It also helps in explaining some of the assumptions coming out from the models and the theories and expectations. Now I'm going to tell you what is concept. An image or symbolic representation of an abstract idea is called an abstract. I told you what is theoretical framework. Now, on the other hand, a researcher may open that his or her research problem cannot meaningfully be researched in reference to only one theory or model or concepts resident within one theory. In such cases, the researcher may have to synthesize the existing views, concepts in the literature concerning a given situation or your relevant problem. So both theoretical and from empirical findings. Sometimes these concepts may come from theoretical perspectives or sometimes may be from empirical findings. The synthesis may be called a model or conceptual framework. So if I'm telling you in one line, what is conceptual framework? This is basically a combination of theories or a combination of models or concepts or maybe empirical findings which help to build your own research model or research framework. As an example, I'm showing you my own PhD study conceptual framework, which is based on Maxwell's work. As Maxwell said that there are four sources to originate your conceptual framework, experimental knowledge, existing theory and research, pilot and exploratory research, and thought experiments. So in my PhD study, I used two sources, my own experimental knowledge as a researcher and pilot an exploratory study to build my actual study. Now, you will ask me that how we can design conceptual framework. So there are some of the sources. For example, your own experience as a researcher is a very significant source to build up with conceptual framework. Then you also need to check out the time available for your study. For example, if you're conducting a PhD study, so your time frame must be tight. Then you also look up some of the professional requirements in your own field. For example, some of the professions require more theoretical aspects to be covered in and some of the professions require more practical aspects to be covered in the research problem. Another important aspect is that if you are a qualitative researcher or your study is qualitative, you need to focus more on why, how and what questions. If you are a quantitative researcher or your study is quantitative, then in contrast, you will look up how many, how often and where aspects of your research problem. Framework guides you towards research questions or hypothesis. This diagram shows you that conceptual framework and theoretical frameworks are mainly linked together. However, the theoretical framework is originating from theory and conceptual framework is originating 
from theoretical framework as well as some related concepts of the given problem. Theoretical framework, let's do conceptual framework. Here, I'm giving you one of the example how young people use electronic information. For example, if this is your area of study, how young people use electronic information. So there are four types of theories. Some of the theory covers technical and organizational variables. Some of the theories, on the other hand, covered cognitive aspects of this problem. Then some are other theories which are covering affective variables. And some other theories covered or focused on social variables. So if I'm using all these four theories, so this may help in developing my conceptual framework of the study. This slide shows you a comparison between theoretical framework and a conceptual framework. So you can see that theoretical framework covers theories. It focuses on what exists, what variables are involved in the theories, and what methods have been used by previous studies. On the other hand, conceptual framework covers the whole plan of your study. It focuses on your research, the variables you are going to focus in your study, the method you are going to use in your study, and your own agenda of conducting your research project or dissertation. In sciences, it is generally agreeable that research questions and studies are based on theoretical frameworks or theories. On the other hand, in social sciences, it is arguable that there is no single theory that can meaningfully cover one aspect. So here, we need to develop conceptual framework or a mix of different theories and concepts or empirical findings. This diagram shows that in quantitative research problems, we identify theoretical frameworks which led to our research problem. On the other hand, in qualitative research, we usually develop conceptual frameworks because we need to cover up different aspects, different empirical findings, and different models or theories to develop our conceptual framework or research questions, which can apply to our conceptual framework in qualitative research. So I hope that this brief overview of both concepts help you in understanding the difference between conceptual framework and theoretical framework.